See after for Lois. Greyhound racing is cruel. It damages dogs. It causes them immense suffering. Injures them sometimes irrevocably beyond any chance of recovery, and it kills dogs. Sometimes immediately, sometimes years later, dogs who have become beloved family pets who live shorter lives than they should have because of the trauma and fractures and chronic pain that dog their days. And as Hope Rescue, the RSPCA, the League Against Cruel Sports and others have reminded us, this debate today in our Senate offers us a chance to start to change that, to give momentum to the idea that greyhound racing should be banned here in Wales, that no more dogs should have to suffer in this way. It isn't just death that awaits these dogs. From when they're born, profit dictates their fate. They're not socialized properly. They are kept in cramped kennels. Puppies are tattooed when they're reared. Easter suppressants are used to allow them to race. They're carted around in vehicles that aren't suitable and they often suffer dental disease. Probably most harrowingly, there are stories about the puppies who go missing between birth and racing registrations. They are referred to in the industry as wastage, a brutal word and a barbaric practice because these puppies are considered as surplus. Tell us political intervention. Yes, certainly. I'd like to thank Dave for her contribution, but I'd just like to remind people of the Chamber about making generalised statements about people who keep greyhounds. Not every greyhound owner is a poor owner. Some people really do care about their dogs, and I think making generalised statements don't really help this debate at all. Uh, th thank you for that contribution. I would obviously I'd echo the point that Buffy had made earlier that there are many, many greyhound owners who really, really care for their dogs. I'm not trying to in any way uh, insinuate that this covers all greyhound owners. I, I, I thank you for that contribution, but I'm sure that you would agree with me that any dogs who have to go through these horrific injuries, that is too many. And that's why we need to have a real fundamental change and that's why I at least think that there should be a ban. I thank you for that intervention. So if we come back to this idea of uh, puppies who are considered as surplus, either because of overbreeding or underperforming in training, they are often killed. They disappear and they're called wastage, like they're scraps of meat or faulty parts, rubbish that's going to be just thrown away. Now, sport should be about entertainment. It should be about talent and celebration and energy and excitement. How anybody can look at pictures of dogs' carcasses and think that that's what sport is about is just beyond me. We need to cut out this cruelty. We need to cut the chase and we need to ban greyhound racing in Wales. Now, I'll say a word, if I may, Dirk Lowith, about the Valley Greyhound Stadium near Estrup Menach. They have submitted, as we've already heard, two planning applications to develop their site. The first was refused in November. The second was refused last month. Now, planning decisions can't be based on questions of cruelty, of course. They were refused, as I understand it, because of a lack of a flood consequences assessment and problems with the transport statement. That is, the site would be bad news for the community under these plans for other reasons, quite apart from questions of brutality. I understand that the flood risk was played down, perhaps even denied in the first application that went in. That information, if it um, had gone in, was, would of course have been incorrect. And I myself have spoken to residents near that area who were flooded in 2020. But there's a concern that the track owner has gone ahead with developing the site apparently working on kennels, a judge's box, extending the bookmaker's space. There are also questions around why so many kennels are planned for 200 if the intention is only to house the greyhounds on race nights when no more than 60 or 70 greyhounds would be racing on any given night. What exactly are the owners planning for? Wales, as we've heard, is an outlier in this dip below with we are one of only 10 countries where greyhound racing is allowed to continue. I think we need to get rid of this anomaly that hangs around our necks. 
let's bring an end to this practice of putting profit above the welfare of these graceful gentle creatures and I, I i take again the points that have been made in intervention with me and and uh, by joel and his contribution of course there will be so many people who love and care for their greyhounds but any dogs that because of this practice are actually born to suffer i think that that is just far it's a disgrace and, and because of that i really would urge members to give a signal with this motion and to begin a process that we all, well, many of us, I hope, will, will want to see an end to greyhound racing in Wales.